I'm Andrew for Andrew Talks. I'm ready to talk, and I hope you're ready to listen. You know the pen is in hand. Let's go. Oh, to be a kid again? Yeah, not really. Things are a changing for the babies of America. Listen up, you toddlers to six years old. Things are changing, and it's not good. It's not, I don't got good news for you. I don't know if you heard, but Malaysia Airlines has banned children from their first class. Ban them. Not allowed. No children in the first class at Malaysia Airlines. If that wasn't bad enough, a Pittsburgh restaurant won't allow children under the age of six to even eat there. Now babies can't even eat. And then, and I'm sorry I'm emotional about this, to make matters worse, McDonald's just announced that they have changed the Happy Meal. I know. I, I know. I know. Now, instead of, you know, the hamburger, cheeseburger, depending, fries and soda and the toy. Now you get hamburger, cheeseburger, chicken nuggets, whatever. Soda or milk. Smaller portion French fries than what it already was a small. I mean, how, how much fries do you get in a small? Four. Now the poor babies are down to two fries and now you get a bag of apples. That's right, you heard me, a bag of apples. And it's not even an option anymore. It's the, the apples are in the box. They in it's a box of apples is really what it is that and, and you get the toy of course luckily they didn't take away the toy but things are rough rough i say for the babies of america so i i spent send a special special shout out to the babies and i'm sorry keep your head up mcdonald's said the reason why they changed the happy meal is for the nutritional value and you know to help with childhood obesity and things of that nature I really don't think a Happy Meal is ever going to be nutritional. Let's be honest. You know it's not. So um, I don't know who they're fooling or who they try to fool. But um, a Happy Meal is just one of those things that you just do because you're a kid. And that, it's just, it's your, it's yours. It's yours and you should have it. And I'm hurt and I'm crushed and I'm mad about it. And I, McDonald's, I'm mad. I said it. I'm mad. I might not frequent your restaurant as much as I used to due to the fact that you don't mess up the Happy Meal. Giving people apples. What if you don't like apples, McDonald's? Hmm? What if you want the tangerine slices? Mandarin oranges, huh? Huh? Do you have banana slices? Do you? Little mango, perhaps? Do you? Huh? Interesting. You might want to look into that. Just saying. Not everybody likes apples. Mm. And maybe some dipping sauce for the apples, if they do. Mm -hmm. Little honey, peanut butter. Think about it. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say on that. I'm going to leave it alone. I am. I'm going to leave it alone. But yeah, it's a tough, tough day for the children of America. My condolences and just best of luck. That's all I can say. Best of luck. And we're going to move on because this week on Andrew Talks, it's all about breaking you out of your comfort zone. That's why you heard me, breaking you out of your comfort zone. So if you typically watch Andrew Talks sitting down, get up. Or if you watch Andrew Talks while, while working out, sit down and relax. Whatever the case may be, change it up. That's what it's all about. Change it up. Try something different. You never know what you might find out about yourself or others when you break out of that comfort zone. Try something new. Try something. I tried a few things new. I did. You want to see? All right. We're going to show you. The, the crew had me do a couple of new things this week and uh, to break me out of my comfort zone because I can't tell you to break you out of your comfort zone without me breaking me out of my comfort You know what I'm trying to say. But then we're going to roll it. Crew, we're going to roll it right now and so you can see me breaking me out of me, my comfort zone. And honey, I broke. I broke all the way. Broke out of my... Just watch, watch. Play, roll the clip. Joe, roll, roll it. Hey there, my friends. It's Andrew for Andrew Talks, and this episode is all about breaking out of your comfort zone. That's right, out of your comfort zone. And so this week, the crew decided that I should go hiking. That's right, you heard me, hiking. 
I really am not a good hiker. I don't have a good sense of balance and I don't like heights. So this will be a challenge for sure. Definitely breaking me out of my comfort zone. Uh, LA is huge. It's a huge city. But one thing we know for sure is we like to hike. So I want to be like just like everybody else in LA and get to hiking. So come along with me. Hopefully it'll be some fun. I'm sure it'll be a comedy as we go hiking in beautiful Griffith Park today on Andrew Talks. Let's go. Come on. You ready? Put your shoes on. Okay, I'll wait. And don't forget your water. Here we go. As you can see, nothing but trail ahead. Got a pretty good pace going. Hopefully we won't get too high <laughs> or I will be running right back down. Do you hear me? I will run right back down. All right, here we go. Me and the crew hiking in Griffith Park. Hope you guys are having fun. Enjoy the beautiful scenery. Let's stop for a second and check things out. Sound good? Here we go. That's the gorgeous observatory way up there. And as we pan, trees, multi-million dollar homes, and more okay, trees. Okay, had to take a quick pit stop because there is something that you have to see on our hike and I didn't want you to miss it. So far, so good with the trails. They're getting a little bit steeper, but the higher you go, the better the views, let me tell you. And this is a view you don't want to miss. Take a look at this. Do you see that way in the distance? That's the awesome Hollywood sign. I wish I can zoom in a little bit further, but if I go any closer, I will fall off the edge of this trail, and we don't want that. I certainly don't want that. But there is the Hollywood sign. Too cool. All right, much more trail to go. It's hot, you guys. It's a little warm. Don't forget your water. We got more to go. Here we go. Break it out of our comfort zone. This week on Andrew Talks. Just wanted to take an extra sec and get some of this great, great views of the city. Can you see beautiful LA? How are you? And some great trees, those million dollar homes. One day soon I'll be in that one, right there. See it? Yep, there you go. You guys can come over for a party. Beautiful LA skyline. A little bit of smog, just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, we've got more trail to go, you guys. Let's get going. Now there is a difference between breaking out of your comfort zone and just being plain crazy. The crew thought I was gonna climb up to the observatory today via the rock trail. Let me give you a little sneak peek of what that looks like. You see those brave souls going up that rock formation up to the observatory? God bless them. I will not be doing that. Okay, we're heading down, which can be even more dangerous with that loose sand. Here we so here's the path as we head down, and remember what I told you, that loose sand will get you every time. So we're gonna need a balance, which is not one of my strong suits, and just watch our footing. Here we go, slowly but surely. Down, hiking down. I mean, if there was a zombie monster behind me, it would be much easier to get down. Uh, <laughs> but since there's not, we're gonna take our time, so that way we don't fall. So that way I can give you more Andrew Talks every week. You're welcome. Okay, here we go. You had a great time with me on the trails here at Griffith Park doing a little hiking. Uh, the crew was very upset that I would have climbed to the observatory. But since I'm the host, creator, director, and pretty much the man, uh, they'll have to get over it. They tell me they have another challenge for me to break me out of my comfort zone. And it's something to do with a shuffle. I hope it's the iPod shuffle. We'll find out uh, in a little bit. But thank you again for coming with me to Griffith Park. And uh, do something to break out of your comfort zone. A couple of trips if you're thinking about hiking. A couple of tips. Um, plenty of water. Hope you can see that. Sunblock and mosquito repellent. Or bug repellent in general. Because there are some critters out there. Um, bring a friend if, you, if your friends are busy. Or if you're new to the area. Make sure you bring some music along to keep you pumping and going. And uh, just have fun with it. And just do what you can do. Just getting out there is breaking out of your comfort zone enough sometimes. So try something new. Break out of that comfort zone. And I'll see you for the next challenge they have for me. I'm a little nervous. Okay, a little more scenery before we go. Would have thought we were in LA right now. So tropical. So beautiful, actually. 
ton of time. Hey there, my friends. It's Andrew from Andrew Talks, and it is time for challenge number two. When they said shuffle, they actually meant the shuffle dance. That's right, my crew is having me do Tabitha and Napoleon from So You Think You Can Dance Masterclass for National Dance Day. National Dance Day is uh, this Saturday, July 30th, so go out there and get dancing on that day. There are three different uh, classes you can take online. Um, I've been practicing for like the past 40s. And uh, there's the uh, beginner class with Mary Murphy, intermediate class with Robin Hampton, and then the master class, because clearly I'm a master, fingers crossed, uh, with Tabitha and Napoleon, nappy tabs for those in the know, nappy tabs. Uh, hopefully I do well, I hope you like it. Breaking you out of your comfort zone, break it, definitely breaking me out of my comfort zone. We're about to dance, you ready? So you think you can dance? Here we go! All I have to say is, shake that. Here we go. Shake that. There you go. Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully I didn't do too bad. Breaking out of my comfort zone. Doing a master class in hip hop. Me! Break out of your comfort zone and whatever you do, you make it great. And to shake it. Back. Oh my goodness gracious. Did I not tell you I broke out of my comfort zone? Yes, yes I did. Trust and believe that was all me. All me, all that great dancing and hiking. You're welcome, you're welcome. Hopefully that has given you some ideas yourselves or maybe it will, you know, get the brain going, brainstorm up a couple of ideas. Uh, it's You just never know about what you can do until you put your mind to it. I really did think I was gonna be able to master that hip hop. And let, let me be quite, quite frank. I know I did not. So I don't need your letters or calls talking about Andrew, you know, Mr. Step there. I, but for what I was to what you saw in that video, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me. I, I killed that performance. Killed it. Killed it. Well, you know, I got to let y'all go. I, just, I know, I know, I know. But I'm letting you go so you can break out of your comfort zone and try something new. That, see, see, you're welcome. You're welcome. So you know what I always say. Make it great. Break out of that comfort zone. Make that great. And you know, I always say, have a great morning, a great lunch, a great afternoon, great evening. Whatever you do, make it great. And break out of that comfort zone. Break, break, break out of it. You can do it. You can do it. If I could do it, if I could do it and get like this, get crunk with it, what? You just thought it was the booty pop. See, I had so much more. I would even know. I would even know. Who knows what you got? So you break out of that comfort zone and you tell me all about it, okay? I'm going to see you next week, all right? I'm Andrew from Andrew Talks. I'll see you. Bye-bye.